Hey guys, welcome to Where To? It's the second part of Cantabria. So the last time we ended up in uh, Santander, I think. Yeah, Santander. There's one wave more close to Santander. It's uh, next to Somo and Loredo. It's a point break and uh, it's called Santa Marina. It's a world-class wave. It's a right-hander, but it's super hard localism. Very steep walls and a lot of barrels if the swell is on, but it's pretty hard localism. Means if you go in and you park close to it, you have just to pedal about a few hundred meters to the wave, but if you park there, maybe they destroy your car. If you know some locals, go in there, it's a cool wave, but if you don't know them and you don't know how to surf, don't go in there. It can be a little bit dangerous because there are some stones in front, uh, in front of the wave. Um, during the takeoff, you can see them. If you don't get the takeoff fast enough, you can get destroyed by the stones. So it's hard localism in there. You have to, it's nice to watch it, but to surf, it depends. If you know people, go in there. So the next good spot um, from Santander, it's uh, Liencres. Liencres is a wide open beach break and you have a lot of different peaks. It's very swell consistent, excellent beach break. It's easy to sleep there. It's a big parking space where you can sleep. There are all the facilities you need, like showers, toilets. Um, but there's also kind of localism because it's a super consistent excellent beach break and it's close to Santander. It's super crowded in the summertime when it's on it's, it's pretty pretty crowded but it's okay to surf it's nice if, if you want to make spot hopping go from Santander to Lienkers it's nice uh, it's for beginners it's for intermediates and professionals but look for the crowded parts just search for the wave uh, for the peaks which are not that crowded so close to it there is uh, Los Locos it's it's almost the same it's a pretty nice spot but it's pretty crowded it's an excellent beach break also for intermediates beginners and professionals crowded some kind of localism and uh, yeah in the summer in the summertime it's super crowded but it's easy to park it's a pretty nice awesome spot and it's worth to go there and have a look at that from Santander and from Los Locos and Liencres you can go the coastline there's a small street it, it goes almost next to the sea it's super nice it's super nice view a lot of small beaches where you can surf you can make spot hopping you can stay there for the night you can just have a look some cities are nice with some fishermen selling fish and uh, some small restaurants some small bars it's it's good to surf sometimes sometimes not just just drive by the sea by the coast it's super nice to see you will cross by Comillas. Comillas is a pretty nice town with a lot of nice buildings. There's a super big convent school and uh, it's an impressive building. You can see it here. And from there it's not far to go to Oyambre. Oyambre is a wide open beach break with super super clean wave. It's a west wind shelter so it means if there's a strong west wind go in there because the mountains will hold the wind. When there's west wind, it can be pretty glassy in there, but there are some surf schools, there's a camping site, and there you can sleep for the night directly at the beach with a super nice view on the beach. There are showers, there are toilets, and the waves are super nice. It's uh, Sometimes there's a super nice left and a super nice right. Can be crowded as well, but um, it makes a lot of fun and it's easy. It's for intermediates, beginners, professionals and you can have a pretty nice awesome time in there because on the camping side there's some party going on in the night from Oyambra just over the mountain like two or three kilometers there is coming San Vicente de la Baquera and that is a super 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 pretty town it's uh, with a small lagoon in the front and a small pretty small harbor a lot of good restaurants it's pretty cheap in there you can get there the whole Menu del dia uh, for about 10, 10 euros and there are a lot of peaks to surf. There is just in San Vicente de la Baquera the harbor wall, it's a right-hander. It's often pretty crowded, you can park there in front, you have to pay the ticket in the summertime, means like three or four dollars for the whole day and you can't sleep in there. But you can park there, just surf there, but it's crowded. But super nice, right-hander, totally, totally on the left. There's uh, close to the harbor wall, there's the current, it pulls you out like a lift and then you are up in the lineup and you can surf in, go into the lift again and go out. It's, it's super nice, you don't have to paddle much. From there, there's a very, very wide, wide, wide 
big open beach break. Right? There are different peaks. There are some faster waves, slower waves, bigger waves, smaller waves. Everything you need. It means it's for intermediates, pretty good to improve yourself. Professionals, sometimes yes, sometimes not. It depends on the on the swell side. And, and for beginners, yeah, it's it's perfect because you have a lot of white water. And you just can, you can learn and improve to to stand up, to get up. It's super nice. If you're staying at the beach in Sami Center, looking at the harbor wall with the right hander in front of you, there's a coast road which goes from Sami Center to Ayamre, and uh, it's like two three kilometers. And if you drive that road back to Ayamre, there are coming a lot of big fields from from some. Farmers in the summertime you can stay there overnight. They charge you five to ten euros for the night. But there are also some small parking areas on the left. If you go a little bit further up the hill, there's coming a restaurant on the right side. There's going a small way path down to the sea, and there are all, always staying some um, some camper vans, some uh, surf vans, and the people can stay there for free. You can sleep there. There's no toilet. There's no shower, so you have to go up to the restaurant, pay for. A coffee then you can use the toilet but it's directly at the beach and you can have an awesome view as well it's not that far from San Vicente city center it's like two or three kilometers but it's one of the nicest view like you can see here in the pictures and in the videos it's super 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 nice the wave quality is uh, it's good it's pretty good but it's it's a beach break and means the peaks are shifting so but it's a swell magnet if it's everywhere else it's flat here can be some pretty good waves but if it everywhere it's big don't go in here because it's too big and it closes out so that was the second part i hope uh, i could help you if you have any questions please write me and um, give me a thumbs up please uh, if you liked it follow me on youtube here and uh, you can follow me on instagram coolest van you can see it uh, thank you for watching see you next time guys